Welcome back everyone to PAX Oz Speedruns 2021. Here we have Cardi with SpongeBob SquarePants and Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Cardi, take it away. Uh, hey guys, my name is Cardi, uh, and I'll be doing uh, a 77 spat, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Bit of a mouthful. Uh, yeah, uh, timer starts on file select. Uh, I'm going to be doing 77 spat, which is essentially our any percent uh, disregarding one major glitch. And it should be fun. It's really, it's really front-loaded with uh, stuff, so I'll try and speak at a normal pace, and we'll get through it together. Are you ready? Alright, yeah. uh, timer starts in three, two, one, go. Okay, so immediately, uh, you'll see in the bottom right corner there, there's a loading icon. Uh, now that, that means I have the ability to buffer in an input, to uh, skip through dialogue really quickly. So if you see uh, character boxes or cutscenes being skipped uh, relatively quicker than others, that's because I'm buffering in an input uh, right there. And that first little uh, intended bug, I guess, a little bit of jank. Uh, Patrick is just selectable to teleport to uh, right off the bat, so you don't have to collect anything in uh, SpongeBob's pineapple until a bit later. So this is Jellyfish Fields. Uh, this is our first sort of tutorial level of the game, and we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna uh, try, as speedruns do, try and spend as little time in here as possible. Uh, our first little skip here is a bit of precise jumping. Now you'll notice I am spinning at the height of my jump. This allows me to extend my jumps just a little bit further than usual and allows us to get out of bounds with a nifty trick right here. And we're coming up on our first spatula. Now, uh, spatulas in this game, that's our main collectible. We need to collect 75 to enter the last boss room. Uh, and we collect two more in that boss room to make 77. Oop. And you saw that uh, I skipped the spatula animation entirely. Skipping the spatula animation is where we get a lot of our time save. The best runners are really, really consistent at it. That's only one way to do it, through the bungee. And you'll see the first three ways to do it pretty, pretty early on in this run. So again, just kind of extending our jumps as far as we can go, and I guess as nice as time as ever to kind of explain what the goal is. This is your basic 3D platformer collectathon sort of thing. Uh, so we have uh, not only. Uh, wait. Okay, I want to make sure I, I hit that one. <laughs> what I did there was I interacted with the gate and I fell into the spatula, skipping it and loading at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you'll see me collecting socks and other secondary uh, collectibles. In the bottom right corner is socks. We trade socks with Patrick uh, later on in the run, just so... Uh, uh, and that... Oops, sorry. Uh, every, every 10 socks is a spatula that we can give to Patrick, uh, and it stops us from having to get other spatulas throughout the level. Now, here is the first jump that beginners really struggle with. We want to extend our jump as far as possible with jump spins. Ooh, thought I missed that. <laughs> And there. Alright. What you saw me do there was pause buffer into uh, spatulas. I will- I, I should have had a bit of a warning at the start here. Uh, if you are photosensitive, uh, there will be uh, quite a few pause buffering uh, moments throughout the run. I'll try and warn you when they come, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the best way to skip a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, so we went, we went over socks, uh, and now we, we went over the, the, the one- the, Oh, by the way, I should mention <laughs> uh, that spatula skip you saw me do where I was pause buffering into it. Uh, that's a one frame trick. So every time I'm pause buffering, I'm trying to go for the one frame. Uh, and you'll see a nice little T pose from SpongeBob and a nice little bubble pop as well if the audio's uh, good enough. Uh, so yeah, we warp out of jellyfish fields as quick as possible. We only need to grab three spatulas in there. It's routed specifically, so we can kind of uh, so we can get the uh, SpongeBob's first ability, the Bubble Bowl, as quickly as possible. So this is our secondary, uh, second level of the run. This is Downtown Bikini Bottom. It's locked behind five spatulas, so we collect uh, six, so, just so we can get in. Uh, and we're going to collect every spatula, except for one, uh, while we're here. Uh, okay, so in this level, you'll see in the bottom left corner there, it's like two out of eleven. That is our secondary uh, collectible. Within within certain worlds in this game, 
uh, there's main the, the main collectible was always socks. There always socks in uh, whatever world. Uh, but there are unique collectibles, secondary collectibles, I call them, uh, unique to each level. Except for I believe Dream and uh, no, no, just just Dream. I think someone in chat's gonna correct me on that one. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, here you'll notice me grabbing uh, all the wheels uh, that I possibly can in this, uh, and that'll set up a pretty, I'd say major glitch, uh, later on down the line. Uh, major exploit uh, probably is the term. Our first major glitch of the run, however, is coming up right now. Once we hit Sandy, I'm gonna explain it uh, ahead. Once we hit Sandy, uh, Sandy has this thing called Infinite Lasso Hover, I-L-H for short. So I'm gonna... Warp to Sandy's checkpoint. Just so we don't have to sit through a uh, bus stop animation. And I hit the lasso button as I hit the edge. And that causes me to hover all around. This is where the jank comes in. <laughs> this allows us to skip major parts of the run. And whenever we're Sandy, we usually try and stick to uh, being in ILH as much as possible. And you can mix ILH with... um. Setting up another one here. You can mix ILH with the surf speed that you saw us do at the beginning of the run. And that's called fast, ILH. So this this little bit of routing uh, avoids a good uh, a good chunk of um, cutscenes. Yeah, we wanna, we wanna try and skip as many text boxes and as many cutscene triggers as possible. Here's a nifty little trick uh, that uh, I'm, I'm fairly new to speedrunning, and this trick really made me feel like a speedrunner. There's a, a precise lineup where you hit an invisible button, avoiding having to farm for shiny objects uh, to open that clam. Now, usually here we would load warp. Load warp uh, is when you open the menu, load the game, and the game is fully actionable while uh, the game is loading, which allows us to collect the spatulas in the middle of the loading animation. However, there's a feature in this game, not a bug, where it just refuses to save sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, for marathon safety, uh, and so I don't have a broken heart, uh, we're just not, we're going to avoid load warping uh, for the entirety of the run. Just so I don't accidentally lose the run 60 spatulas in and I have no way to continue. Here we jam ourselves while... Uh, oh, this is a fast ILH, by the way, that I mentioned earlier. Jam ourselves down so we can lower, grab the spatter SpongeBob, and continue into Lighthouse. Lighthouse is. Lighthouse is just a, a quick little section here uh, where we have. <laughs> we can actually see through the floor to find where the duplicator trons are. And uh, it can go pretty quickly. Uh, here, it's important to note we are farming for as many shiny objects as possible. Throughout the run, we're gonna need uh stuff locked behind like gates and and things locked behind a certain shiny count and our first major one's coming up so we want to make sure we have 2100 right before we leave again shout out to the routers of the game who have made this game possible we're, we're just <laughs> just over uh 2100 there and again hitting hitting the interact button uh, right before and landing into the uh, uh, the spatula there. Uh, another thing that I, sh I should mention, uh, the jump spin mechanic is not uh, is not only for, for your jump. Uh, if you jump on the trampoline or get bounced by anything, you can spin and hold that momentum and just kind of stretch out your jump as far as possible. Now here, here in uh, here in Sea Needle, there is a wild mechanic that I still kind of don't really understand, so I'll explain it the best I can. Stick with me here. Uh, around the Sea Needle, you'll see uh, bungee points for SpongeBob. Each of these bungee points uh, counts as one point, and to unlock the spatula for Mr. Krabs, you need three points. However, uh, what the game doesn't tell you is that you don't really need SpongeBob to do the bungees, and you don't really need to do all of the bungees. You can just do one of them three times. So as we route around here with Sandy, uh, this this place is only supposed to be accessible once you hit uh, the third, uh, sorry, the second uh, special ability SpongeBob unlocks. So we just skip all of that pretty much with Sandy. 
And here's what I mean by the bungee. You'll see me do this three times. I get a lot of questions asking why I do it this way. Uh, I, I think it's the fastest way. I think everyone thinks it's the fastest way. And it, it looks a bit janky, but trust me, it's the way it's, it's the way things work. So I'm going to hover here, wait until that last one despawns, and just do it uh, twice more. If you have anything interesting, <laughs> that chat said so far, uh, we have like a tiny bit of time. Oh, chat said so many great. <laughs> Chat's just been popping. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> well, we have 20 bucks here from LaFama saying, Cardi, congrats on making it to the big screen. Best of luck. Cancer took my grandfather way about nine years ago this coming Christmas, and I love what other speedruns and packs are doing. Please continue this and help fight that cancer. We also have $100 from Metro, who we saw just yes. before. Holy. Thanks again for having us, Pax and Oz speedruns. Put my money towards Chog as the partner Pokemon name. Thank you all for the donations, guys. <laughs> also, I should I should mention uh, every... Uh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Everyone in the rehydrated community uh, hates... And it, even the OG community, they hate the bungee jumping mechanics in this game. There is such a... I've never seen uh, a community gather together to hate one mechanic as much as possible. <laughs> So here, uh, here's an un another unintentional mechanic in Rehydrated. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't really check what character you are. So s there is no point in the jellyfish fields where you're supposed to be sandy. And we can just take her from downtown all the way to here. And this is our first like big major out of bounds skip. We avoid all of the tutorial with Patrick entirely. And we kind of just wedge ourselves over here, keeping, uh, importantly, keeping our surf speed. Uh, to make it as fast as possible. This is another trick that uh, beginners tend to uh, muck up a bit. Uh, myself, I used to uh, <laughs> used to call it the walk of shame uh, when I wouldn't keep the uh, the momentum and have to slowly walk down. You lose like probably 40 seconds, I would say. At least I I I, I would lose 40 seconds early on in my run. So we grab that spatula there, picking, putting us to 14 right before the boss fight, and then we come over to this gate just to pick up a checkpoint for later. And we're walking back to our first boss fight, the first Sandy boss fight. Uh, now, Sandy's boss fight is pretty easy. Uh, a lot of the OG runners uh, are kind of jealous that we have like a minute boss fight. They have to sit through three minutes of Sandy. Uh, it's really... Uh, it's really nice. And what Sandy gives us is the bubble bowl mechanic, which we're gonna break the game with even further. So here's Sandy. Uh, so the first phase, what you wanna do is bait out one attack and just slam. Second phase with Patrick, you wanna bait out two attacks and then, oh, oops, there we go. You wanna bait out two attacks and then slam. And then same uh, with the third phase, two attacks and then slam. We want to do our best to avoid getting hit and avoid the clothesline. So if we don't bait out the attacks, Sandy will clothesline and that's just a lot slower than... Uh, they're not doing it. So uh, what I like to do here is kind of position Patrick always facing the... Uh, the Titan Tron, I guess, is what that would be. Uh, while also uh, keeping Sandy as close to the center as possible so the head doesn't float away. I can't tell you how many runs that I've I've mucked up just kind of bonking, bonking Sandy's head all, all, all over the place. The physics in this game, you'll, you'll see, hopefully you won't see later actually, but if it does happen, I'll point it out. The physics in this game are really janky. <laughs> Again, it's a feature, not a bug. All right, so two more attacks. All right, here we actually want to stay as close to the green as possible because Sandy actually can't stand on the green. So if you get as close to the green as possible, uh, you'll get a short hop. Unfortunately, did not get one there, but that's fine. And that's Sandy. All right. So an another another major exploit that we have in this game is a bowl interact. So what you saw there was I pressed the bubble ball button with the interact button, and it allows me to walk through the wa uh, the load screen. And you'll see what that uh, what that's useful for in just a second. Here we just have some uh, kind of semi-precise, I would say, um, mobbing. Not the greatest split for me, but hey, what are you gonna do? So there, you saw me do the the bowl interact again. You'll hear the 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 bubble pop, 
and that means we got the spatula. Uh, and that, that's that's what we mainly use the bow interact for. Here is our first instance of a stuck VBB. Again, this is very tech heavy right at the start. Stuck VBB allows you to jump on top of the, the bubble and uh, the speed of the bubble will propel you upwards. We also have unstuck VBBs where you're the other thing interacting with the bubble. You'll see that in a second here as well. Actually, you'll see that a bit later into the run. There we go. All right, now into Mermelair. Mermelair, let me just say this. My chat knows this. Anybody who really speedruns this game knows this. This is really the make or break section of the run. The 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 intro is really just a beginning into like all the tech that we have here. Uh, but Mermelay is where it kind of gets harder for advanced runners. So here I jump off the edge here just to make uh, to get a cutscene a cutscene trigger skip. Uh, it's just slightly faster. I believe it's like one or two seconds uh, in my experience. And we skip that entire level with that one jump there. Another bowl interact. And boom. Into the next section. Okay, so here we have uh, this. Once we switch to Patrick, this is going to be a Patrick section. That's actually a new sock that I learned from uh, the 100 uh, spat world record. So shout outs to, shout outs to, uh, <laughs> shout outs to that because it saves me about seven seconds later on a different sock. So uh, a lot of the top runners have different sock routes and a lot of the top runners have diff uh, we, we, we all share the, the same farming route because we don't really have a farming glitch that we can exploit. Uh, but sock routes I see kind of differ. I do my best to follow the world record, but other uh, some other socks I'm not really there for. Here we're just kind of doing, I would say casually, like advanced casual. I, I, that's what I brand myself as. An advanced casual strat for Patrick. We uh, fall off the edge there just so we teleport right back to Mermaid Man immediately. It's just a little bit quicker. And here is another bit of jank. If you talk to a, an NPC, a sign, whatever, any interactable while you jump into a spatula, uh, it just places the camera in front of your face. And you, you have to... The walking mechanics off of it are a little bit difficult, but it's it's not not too bad. There I missed one of our first uh, big skips. This is called Clam Skip. Uh, what you want to do is angle yourself just next to the slide, jump into the missile. There we go, second try. That's, that's not bad. And, okay. Now, here is one of the most difficult puzzles you'll see in this game. In any game, really. We have a button puzzle. <laughs> I was just kidding. Uh, all you have to do is hit every button once. You might think, isn't there a quick way? Is How can this not be solved? It's, trust me, this is the quickest way we have. You just gotta hit every button once. It's a bit painful, but once you get past it, you're all good. There is also a reset button, I should mention. There's a reset button uh, amongst those other buttons. I should have pointed it out. I have lost so many so many runs it's a real no, not losing the run but losing maybe like 30 seconds by hitting that reset button on accident it's a real big pain here is an actual uh, so, so in this next section we're going to come up a across a interesting vbb this one is inconsistent for me so vbb again standing for vertical ball boost this one you don't want to hold all the way just kind of lightly there we go first try that's a nice one I enjoy that. And you'll see us collecting, this is our secondary collectible. These buttons here on the TV monitors. And this is the dreaded ballroom. Now, <laughs> ballroom is, ballroom's a skip. What we wanna do is we wanna position ourselves in a specific spot, uh, uh, pause buffer to a specific spot, and then headbutt the ball so we skip the entire the entire uh, contraption. So again, if you're photo sensitive, sensitive please look away from the stream. Uh, this might be a little bit fast. I ah, didn't get it. You can cut, you kind of get a feel of uh, how fast the ball needs to be going, how high the ball needs to be going before you get it. Again, there's no biggie. We have a lot of time saved that we can use. Uh, so if we don't get it first try, uh, no big deal. Again, yikes. <laughs> Uh, while, while I attempt this again, you have anything interesting, uh, that we can shout out? Wait, 
we have we have, we've got a lot here we've got six donations oh my goodness uh, yeah look away for five seconds uh we have twenty dollars here from alexandra whimsy who's uh, who has no comment unfortunately but right after that we had forty dollars from whimsy shrimp who says that's my boy i'm proud of how far you've gotten cardi who who would have thought that you'd be playing spongebob to help annihilate cancer well done we have twenty dollars here from Jetman J, who says, "Best of luck. Wild to see you come this far." We have a hundred dollars from Rushdell, who says, "It is I, Rushdell, and I think Cardi is neato." We have thirty dollars <laughs> from Bloomia, who says, "Proud of my online brother Cardi." And finally, we have twenty dollars from Night Dove, who says, "Congrats, mate. I'm proud of you for making the pack speedrunning." Remember, everyone, we do have a bunch of incentives as well uh, coming up. If you do exclamation mark incentives, we'll bring you to a nice little spreadsheet where you can. Uh, Pick what you want in your donation message, and we can put that in for you. Oh my goodness, guys! Thank you so much. Oh, I was not—I was not expecting that. Neither was I. I look away for five seconds, and there's a billion donations here. Woof! All right, I'm having a bit of a struggle here, but we—I think we can, we can, we can keep, we can keep going. <laughs> This is this is the trick that really does kill a lot of runs. Uh, I feel like a lot of top runners have gotten it a lot more consistent. I, for some reason, developed my own. Ooh, that might be good. Yes, there we go. Ooh boy. That's this is this is like really one of the tricks that I was really stressed about. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really it's it's really precise. I for some reason decided to come up with my own lineup. First try. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so I don't really have many online resources for me to kind of study off of. Uh, it's all up in that think tank. So after this, uh, we are actually going to be seeing our first instance of a uh, load error glitch. Now, load error glitch uh, deserves a little bit of explanation. We kind of don't know all the ins and I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs. Some other people might might do. But what essentially what it allows us to do, it puts us, it puts SpongeBob in a, in a weird state. He's invincible to most damage. He will skip through most, uh, anim uh all animation, uh, spatula animation. Sorry. Uh, and uh, all uh, cutscene triggers that don't involve a button. The way it resets is if you die or uh, hit a button to trigger a cutscene. So usually you're not supposed to be standing on this close to uh, King Prawn. I think that's I think, I think that's his name. Uh, so yeah, with, with, with Lord Error Glitch, we can kind of just <laughs> cheese this boss fight just a little bit. And it also does a lot with uh with projectiles as well, which we'll see in a glitch just coming up. Now, this is a skip as well. Uh, it's another, another, another unique skip uh, where we used a technique called text storage. So there you saw me uh, hit the interact button as well as a, uh, a bowl input on the exact same frame. We store that text box all the way to here. And that allows us to jump out of uh, Hans's hand uh, to kind of get out of bounds. I am urging the community to to, to change the name uh, to Bubble Bu Bubble Buddy Out of Bounds. You'll <laughs> look up the acronym. You'll know why. <laughs> uh, and that does uh, save a lot of time as compared to the uh, other Walk of Shame that there is, which unfortunately I will not be able to show you today. Uh, but it's a uh, it's a fun it's a fun Out of Bounds glitch. So there was just some precise platforming. That jump uh, from the Krabby Patty to the Chump Bucket is deceivingly hard. I, I am honestly astonished that I hit it first try. Uh, and into Dream. Now, Dream is uh, the first major roadblock for beginners because it involves a, a skip called Oil Skip. So here I am setting up another leg. Uh, lo load error glitch, leg for short. And that just involves me loading the game, unplugging my controller, re-plugging it back in, and then tabbing in and out just so I can use my controller again. Again, you can run mouse and keyboard. I prefer controller. It's just what I'm used to. Uh, I think the top runners currently are switching to mouse and keyboard, but hey, what are you gonna do? So this is this is oil skip, which requires a little, little bit nervous. Requires a uh, audio. I, that audio setup. So I'm gonna be quiet here for just a second so I can hear it. 
Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go! First try. All right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that was a bit loud. Uh, the pain my community seen me go through trying to hit that. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud right now. All right. So that, that's oil skip. Uh, it's kind of, it's half a precise lineup mixed with, uh, an audio, uh, not audio trigger. I forget what to call it. Uh, you have to wait till you hear the, the oil guy chuck his bubble and whoop, there we go. That is what we call super bounce. It's not that bad. Ca casually, that's what I did to actually get this spatula. <laughs> I haven't done the other part at all. I did that. I did that in my casual playthrough. I should kind of explain where we've been. So this is SpongeBob's Dream World. Uh, it's unique because you don't. It does, it's not locked behind a spatula account. Uh, and in SpongeBob's Dream World, we travel to other characters' dreams as well. As you can see, this is Squidward's dream. It's filled with beautiful art. Uh, you love to see it. This is honestly probably the most pure platforming you'll get out of the run. And uh, it, it used to be one of my worst splits. You wouldn't think it, but a platformer speedrunner being worse at the pure platforming part, that's uh, that's the card he's special for you. So yeah, this is, this is actually going surprisingly well. Uh, oil skip is our, I would say probably tied with the hardest strat that beginners learn. And it's only gotten easier with, with a load error glitch, but it's still kind of a pain. The audio cue it, for the for the oil, by the way, I don't know if I explained it properly, was just on the second beat that you hear the uh, oil guy kind of charge up. That's that, that's when you, you, got, you got to go running. This is Sandy's dream. Sandy's dream is filled with uh, good old Texas pride and a big nut. <laughs> So here you see me setting up an ILH. We skip all the way to the nut. And we skip the entire level. The entire level was just a surfing kind of platformer. We miss a couple of socks along the way, but that's the that, that's mostly the entire level. And here uh, we're gonna use the ILH, uh, fast ILH surf speed just to kind of get our other spatula over towards the salt balloon. Uh, this this split is very painful because of the <laughs> the AI that you get. Uh, it's it it's not random, but it feels random. I I think I've lovingly named this split pain. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. Sometimes you just don't you don't get the these disc guys to kind of cooperate the way you want them to. Speak of the devil. <laughs> lucky we, we're lucky we didn't die there. And uh, I think that that's the end of dream. A quick eight spats for you. Our next uh, level is uh, Goo Lagoon. So the way I have this routed, uh, some other people have it differently. Uh, I specifically kind of try to front load as many difficult tricks as possible. So that's why you'll see me attempt Ballroom as quick as I can. You'll see me attempt Dream as quick as I can. And then my next difficult one is Google Dream. I think in a casual playthrough, this is where you'll go to third. Uh, and if I have any Larry the Lobster fans out there in chat, we got any Larry the Lobster fans. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing Larry all run. We skip his one mission that he has. You can kind of see him off in the distance there, but we will not be talking to him because, you know, sorry, Larry. We got, we got more important things to do. All right, I'm gonna take this time actually to kind of set up uh, what those, what what the extra collectibles do here. So in the bottom left, you'll see that we have balloons, and you'll see that we have kids uh, just floating around on those balloons. You might think, hey Cardi, why don't you why don't you collect those uh, <laughs> collect those kids? Why don't you why don't you go save those kids? That's better. Uh, and that's because we have a uh, an abuse called collectible counter abuse, and what that does is it. In the game, the memory doesn't wipe when you go from level to level uh, with secondary collectibles. So in the first in the first level, we had 11 collectibles. So when we travel there and back, the game will act like... Oh, come on. There we go. The game will act like we have saved all of those kids. Uh, and unfortunately, 
that kind of just left la laying around in limbo. <laughs> and, uh, and if you think that's wrong, uh, just wait till you notice SpongeBob does it twice throughout the, uh, throughout the run. And I'll make sure to point that out when we get there. Okay, here we set up another VBB into a, one of my favorite tricks. I, I call it the Yeet, some people call it the Kobe. It's, um... We have a, we have a precise lineup at the top of the sandcastle here, where we throw uh, a bubble bowl all the way across the map to essentially what is an invisible button. Yep, and I hit it first try. Nice, let's go. Setting up a leg so we can skip the animations. It will seem a bit odd just to collect the spatula without anything uh, to do with it, uh, to, to go along with it, but trust me, it's, that is normal. Okay, uh, and there's, there's still so much. There is still so much I need. I, I'm going to have to grab a, a sip of water here in a second. <laughs> so, whew. Uh, what's, happen what's happening now is we're going into uh, Gulagoon Caves. Now, Caves has an interesting mechanic where the water will rise and lower. And whether or not you get the fastest cycle in Caves just depends on one thing. The buoy. Now, if I have any rehydrated speedrunners in the chat, you will know that this buoy is evil. Oh, okay. It cooperated with that with us this time. What that buoy can do is just kind of send you. And I mean, like, just for no reason. The physics in this game, a little bit janky. It's a, it, it's a feature, not a bug. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's great. Uh, and kind of just cleaning up the rest of this part uh, of the caves. This part is actually really, really simple. Uh, there is an interesting, uh, the interesting bowl interact here though. Uh, this is the longest one we do. It is very sweaty. So listen out for the bubble pop. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no! Alright, I'll set it up again. For the gamers? There we go, there's the bubble pop. You love to see it. Alright, uh, now we're going to... I can't believe I've gotten this far in the run without talking about it. Uh, in this game there are checkpoints and they're kind of warp points without pressing the start menu. Those are these boxes here. So what we do is we kind of just throw ourselves in into the abyss just so we can hit that box a little bit sooner. And it allows us to go through this level backwards. Now I'm just going to be cleaning up a couple of spatulas. Not much, not many interesting things going on. So if you have anything to shout out, uh, now would probably be a good time. Uh, how much time do I have? Uh, probably about, uh, what, what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, don't I? Let's we go! We have $50 from Anonymous saying, yo, you get him, buddy, so proud of you. We have $200 from Warstrike at 13. Cardi is neat, cancer needs to be annihilated, and don't forget to hydrate. We have $30 from Friendly Ed, who says, absolutely proud of you, man. It's, it was awesome to see you killing the run you've been, you've worked so hard on and doing something great by raising money for charity. We have $100 from Jetman J saying, get it to 2k, which we just hit, by the way. Good run so far. We have $95 from the street from Windy Street. <laughs> now, we're, now we're somewhere. Here's the 2k and the best speedrunner I know personally. We have $50 from Lord Skipperson saying, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time defeat, get a no SRM race incentive. That is a long incentive to read. We have five dollars from Black Sheep. Says, I'm so proud of you for getting to do this awesome thing, Cardi. Remember, mate, world record pace. And we have twenty dollars <laughs> from Theory Pop. Who says, Cardi's speed is immense. I just want to point out something here. We started this run at one thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars raised. Right now, we're at two thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars. What the? Raised. Your chat, your chat have raised nine hundred dollars exactly in half an hour. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, we just had another ten dollars coming from Lumi who says my brother is unstoppable. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That, that's amazing, guys. Oh holy moly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh okay, so So definitely some interesting things have happened. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, how do I, how do I follow this? Okay, coming, coming back to Jellyfish Fields. This is our tutorial island sort of thing. You saw us grab the checkpoint earlier. We're back again. The reason we wait to get the bubble bowl till we get here is because, uh, casually through the game, what you're supposed to do is, uh, pound the ground. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit flustered. You're gonna have to forgive me for this one. Oh, oh I'm well it up. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so usually casually through the run, what would happen is Patrick will slam the ground and throw the robots at the towers, just like uh, he did with watermelons. Uh, but with the bubble bowl, we can kind of just circumvent that and do it a lot quicker. Now this is, this is the boring part of the run. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna save the donations to this part as well. I didn't think there'd be that many. I mean, we have another donation, $20 from Anonymous, who says, Hey, I think you'll drop this. Good luck, Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of familiar names in those donations. You guys are doing a wonderful job. I'm just here trying to show off what, 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 what SpongeBob speedrunning is all about. But hey, you guys, you guys are the real ones right now. I mean, oh. chat's literally saying that SpongeBob is like the cure for cancer right now. I don't know. Look, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Nearly a thousand dollars in less than an hour. We're working towards it. Oh my, I'm shaking. <laughs> so, uh, that, that's our last bit of farming. Uh, we usually want to get to six thousand uh, shiny objects in the top right corner there. Uh, I farm, I farm just a little bit extra for uh, marathon safety. Uh, you can see how nervous I am. One, two. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, th th I've, I, just to mention it, I've been hyping this up with my community for a little bit, and to see them come out this hard is, uh, honestly wonderful. Thank you all so much. Okay, back to the run, though. We're speedrunners. <laughs> uh, here we do a little bit of precise platform, not that precise, uh, grab a sock and kind of... Skip the rest of the level with, uh, I technically out of bounds, I would say. Uh, there's a nifty trick. If you bash up a, uh, little jump puzzle there, uh, you get up it just a little bit quicker. Oh, and, okay. Here we're going to see one of my nemesis. Nemeses? Nem- Nem- One of my enemies. <laughs> this trick is called sponge warping. So here I am setting up the CCA. Uh, collectible counter abuse. So we're gonna come come here and then come back just so we uh, don't actually have to fight the boss entirely. So up we go. Now, sponge warping is a little bit janky. Oh, didn't get it that time. So we wanna kind of. Oh, let me get it. There we go. Okay. So what happened there was I jumped in the goo, had a little bit of a delayed slam, uh, which means just like kind of butt stomping, I like to call it, uh, into the goo, which you might think would kill you, and it does most of the time. But if you do it at a precise timing and use a precise angle there, you sponge warp all the way over the, um, the curtain, and you skip that boss entirely was a little bit slow but uh faster in general and if i can just say i mean I'm not trying to egg anybody on here but we do look mighty close to 2500 <laughs> if i could use any ounce of power that i have we're, we're, we're fairly close to 2500 <laughs> <laughs> I think we can hit 2,500 before the end of the run. By the way, do we have time for more donations? We definitely do have time for more donations. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, we just had one come through. <laughs> we have $20. <laughs> we have $20 from Evil Emma who says, So proud of you, Cardi. Genuinely so impressed with the progress you've made. Love you, Cardi. We have $100 from Rushdell. It is I, Rushdell, and Cardi is cute when he's crying too. We have $25 from Night Double Game. Calm down, you got this. <laughs> Lovely Cardi is an amazing guy and a great streamer. And we just had $50 anonymous donation right there. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> Focus on the run, Cardi. You got this, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay, so here uh, is our first instance of SpongeBall. Oh, I mean, like, kind of a, 
using Sponge Ball to its, its, its greatest mechanics. Uh, the ledges in this game kind of bounce you up with the ball. So what that allows us to do is kind of work our way up so we can... We also have a single jump as the ball as well. So what you saw me do there was use the ledge for, for our initial burst of like upwards momentum, jump a little bit, get out of the ball, and then double jump. It's a, it's, it, it goes by quickly, it looks deceivingly easy, but trust me, uh, sometimes the ball just feels like RNG and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so here we set up another ILH. Again, when we're Sandy, we love to be an ILH. Infinite lasso hover for those who uh, missed the beginning of the stream. Uh, we kind of route, we've, we've routed this, I say we like I was a part of it. The routers have routed this so that we collect two socks in here uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, surf uh, momentum that we can take along with us, so we just kind of have to bear with the normal sandy walking speed as slow as, as slow as she goes, but faster in general. Nice little T-pose one-framer right there. You'll love to see it. Here we go, another sponge ball trick. So again, ramming ourselves into the, uh, into collision. A jump out of the sponge ball, double jump. And you'll see me warping back a lot. Uh, you, okay, usually, in some instances, we would load warp. I haven't really been calling out the load warps. Uh, because I'm a bit distracted and overwhelmed by chat. Thank you guys so much. Uh, but usually we would load warp. Uh, sometimes uh, we just one frame a walk. Uh, uh, warp, sorry. Uh, but in that in, in that instance, we, we would uh, teleport back just because it's just a tiny bit quicker. Now, this is something that I've been worried about all day. This is our, fir our first unstuck VBB, where we're using uh, SpongeBob's collision to kind of jam the ball into this collision here and explode ourselves upwards. You'll know exactly what it looks. There you go. That's a nice little... Uh, Nice little trick there. It's very random, it feels like. And here we buffer in a left input and a start input, and you'll hear the pop. There we go. And the reason we went uh, there with SpongeBob instead of doing uh, Sandy uh, Infinite Lasso Hover is that we unlock the first box, the first warp box uh, that we saw. Remember in Goo Lagoon? We unlock that. Uh, so the second one will spawn. And we can go all the way uh, down past here. Again, using the ball to our advantage. Jump in the gap. There's usually a, a puzzle here where you switch between Sandy and SpongeBob in the air and on the ground. And we have just completely demolished uh, that entirely. Uh, with a bit of sponge nonsense. There you saw me hit the button. And then because we have the box warp, we go back. Grab the spatula. Quick and easy. One frame at a boot. You love to see it. Uh, hit... And again, here is another uh, bit of new tech. <laughs> oh, did we hit it? <laughs> All right, you, I, I think we have time for a, uh, a quick donation. <laughs> we have time for a quick donation. All yep. right. We have a hundred dollars from Alexander Whimsy for I guess two and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> we have ten dollars from Lumia, and we've just had fifty dollars from Lavama. Unsponge, unsponging believable. Let's smash that two thousand five hundred dollars, which we did, and let's reach that milestone and smash it to pieces. How much to make you sing the SpongeBob theme song? For me? Yes, for you. Oh, I'm not. I I, I don't. I don't think anybody How wants much? to hear that. How much? How much? Uh, How much? Let's. I mean. If they can do it, we only have about 20 minutes of the run left. A bit less than that. Uh, let's go uh, 2750. $2,750. All right. I also have another quick announcement as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also just passed $2,550, uh, which means you have doubled the entire day's amount raised in a single run, and the run's not even over yet. You're, you're joking. I'm not joking. We mm -hmm. started at 1275 <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe that. That's insane. You, oh, uh, I'm speechless. I don't even, oh, I, I missed, okay. So I, I missed an important tech there. 
What you're supposed to do is wait for the for the cutscene to end, so you can grab a, a duplicated sock. That's not nothing to worry about. We can grab another sock later on in the run. Uh, but that's unfortunate to miss there. Ash, you're gonna have to <laughs> let that one slide for it though. <laughs> Holy moly! I I I I am honestly speechless. Here is Sand Mountain. Uh, we spent a lot of the uh, shiny objects that we were aiming to farm, and this is our last real farming spot of the uh, of the uh, of the run. You'll see it's it's pretty much follow down the road as casually as possible with like one or two pretty big skips. But other than that, it's it's fairly it's fairly easy. <laughs> So I, I'm, I'm gonna have to pull myself together. <laughs> just one second. Oh. It's all good. It's all good. Um, why you do that? I just want to quickly say, if you type in exclamation mark incentives into chat, it'll pull up a nice little link for you, which is incentives for oddspeedruns.com. If you click on that, it'll bring you to a nice little spreadsheet that has a bunch of donation incentives that we're running for the rest of the weekend, and any of them are open. I want to see anyone who's donating for the rest of the run put at least put at least a single incentive into their donation message. I want to see these get pushed. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I, uh, so there I set up a... <laughs> Do I even talk about the run anymore? <laughs> there I set up another oh, yeah, leg. No, you're talking about the run. <laughs> We set up another uh, load error glitch, uh, so we can collect those two spatulas pretty, pretty quick and easily. Uh, here, this is this is one of my most favorite uh, levels of the game because we go through it entirely backwards, and it's I think it's the fastest seven spatulas that we uh, that we nab uh, throughout the run. So blink and you'll miss this one. Uh, as I set up for this next trick, do you have anything interesting <laughs> you might want to hit me with? Yeah, we do. We have 50 bucks here from Wyburn Flames, who says, Have fun. I'm leaving for real now. Bye. And they left a little heart for you, too. We also have $25 from Generic Skybox, who says, Hey, Cardi, I don't know how dollar dudes work, so I hope this is a good donation. <laughs> Anyways, love you. Keep up the great run. Oh, but, oh. Wasn't supposed to collect that there, but we, we take those. So here's a quick three spatulas. What we what we what we had happened there was I went to the bus stop, switched to Patrick, switched back to SpongeBob. What that allows us to do is uh, teleport through the box, uh, and uh, skip that 101 second uh, slide altogether. We come through this area backwards as well, grab the spatula, and warp to the end. That's our quick three. But but wait, there's more. Because as we as we load through this one <laughs> one load screen as well, here's number four. <sighs> uh, we quickly grab that box warp so we can uh, grab the spatula a little bit quicker. Uh, in a casual playthrough, what you're supposed to do here is be Patrick, throw the ice block uh, into the lake which allows you to walk on it. You walk all the way over to the spatula instead. I skip the cutscene showing where the spatula is. Instead, what we do is uh, box warp into the spatula, just quickly down here. And that's, an, uh, that's uh, a quick number five. Here we, look, we warp straight back up to Mr. Krabs. Uh, again, going backwards to the level going to into what is the entrance and we're going to collect quick number six then you'll see me set up a collectible counter uh, collectible counter abuse that's the one sorry <laughs> got a little tongue side collectible counter abuse uh over here and that's a quick seven almost now when we talk to mrs puff over here she'll say thank you for saving our campers and History repeats itself. SpongeBob left, <laughs> left the kids dangling uh, in Goo Lagoon. SpongeBob's gonna leave the kids uh, hanging here in in uh, Kelp Forest as well. You would think for a for a child childhood icon, uh, SpongeBob might like kids just a little bit more. But no, we're just gonna abandon them. <laughs> and that's the end of Kelp Forest. Now here is our last major level of the run it's it's or time has flown by it feels like i just started 
<laughs> and we're already in Dutchman's Grave. Now, Dutchman's Grave, Graveyard, is... It holds one of the most RNG-feeling uh, tricks in the, in the run. And unfortunately, because it's locked behind a 60 spatula mark, there is nowhere to come here earlier, so we kind of just have to bite the bullet and hope that uh, RNG is in our favor when we uh, hit it. Oh, would have a lag spike. The computer, the computer might be struggling <laughs> from all the love and support that you guys are showing Cure Cancer Australia right now. Uh, here is a, a nifty little trick. So we're supposed to have the cruise bubble, which is a torpedo that SpongeBob blows out of his bubble wand. Instead, what we do is we just yeet a, a nice little bubble bowl all the way, hit the button instead, like we don't even need it. Uh, this this spatula is usually collected with a uh, load warp as well, so it's, it's a bit quicker, but hey, kind of stuck over here. <laughs> Kind of stuck for options uh, when the game has a feature that doesn't like to save the game at all. So uh, you'll see me kind of farming a little bit more for shiny objects. That's because there's one last clam that we need to get. That's a really quick spatula that costs 2,700, 2,700 uh, shiny objects. We just hit it now. Usually I you, you want to keep it as tight as possible during an actual run because uh, you know the, the less you spend farming, the more you can spend uh, going fast with speed. <laughs> That's another nice quick special. Oh, that might look weird to, to, I didn't explain that one. That might've looked weird to everybody, uh, just tuning in. So, uh, rehydrated again, lovely game. What, what's supposed to happen there is the, the mast of the ship is supposed to fall down, but the hitbox for the ship is just, oh, the hitbox for the mast is there anyways, so we kind of just slide on an invisible log and get across scot-free, which is great. There you saw, saw me collect the last sock of the run. Uh, I know I haven't really been kind of paying attention to how many socks we've been collecting, uh, but that is the last one. We will talk to Patrick to, to donate, hint hint, all, <laughs> all of those socks right at the end, mm. collect. Another 30. I see a number that I'm not really. You see a number? I see a number that I'm, I'm afraid of. You might want to warm up your boy. Hit me with it. <laughs> All right. We, oh my god, my my first dash water flagging. We have $20 from Sombrero who says, Cardi, you're killing it, dude. Keep it up. We have $5 from Rushdell. It's me, Rushdell. Funny words. <laughs> Haha. It's me, Rushdell. Oh, whoa. We have $20 from Ted saying, hey, So happy I met you in Hijack. I knew you, you would do great things. Cheers, mate. Keep it up. We have $40 from Clay saying, Serenade me. $20 from Marvel Tech who says, Nyah, ha, ha, ha. Sponge me, my, sponge me, boy, me, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we have 30 dollars from Theory Pop. Warm up them pipes, Cardi. And just then, like two seconds ago, we had a hundred dollars from Asado who says, Cardi, all those many hours and dedication to the grind. Love you, dude. This is your moments. You better start warming up your you better uh, start warming up your pipes. Do I get a backing Sorry. track or like we what? Have Twenty dollars from Lumi who says, such an amazing cause. Glad I got to support Cardi in the process. <laughs> And no, no backing track. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, so here's the dreaded cannon skip that we were talking about earlier. This is another unstuck VVB. Oh my god, I hit it. I hit it second try. That is very lucky. We take those. We take those every day of the week. Alright, uh, so basically uh the cannons here are a secondary collectible. They spawn this spatula here. We got them on the route. Uh, I honestly don't know how that VBB works. You kind of wedge yourself into the corner there. The bubble will stay for just enough, tr enough, tr <laughs> enough, just enough time. A little bit flustered. <laughs> just enough time for us to jump on top of it. Uh, and it just launches up, us up into the air. That is the last barricade, I would say, for beginners. I, I, I do mention this a lot just because this game is such a fun time to speedrun. It's really beginner friendly for first time speedrunners. This is my first ever game that I ever speedrun. Uh, speed ran? Speed... And I've been at it for about almost a year now. On and off for about a year. And I, I just love it. it. It's getting more more technical. Now is, a be now is the best time than any to get into Spongebob speedrunning. With uh, the new Cosmic Shake game coming around the corner. I missed a spatula. Whoa! Oh, I missed a spatula. 
Where did I, where did I miss? Oh, I, I know what I did. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Cardi didn't mess up. I promise. I promise. <laughs> right then, we were supposed to be at uh, 75 spatulas. A uh, little bit. A little bit uh, distracted, I will say, from the love and support from you guys in the chat. <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit our hour mark. We're coming. Uh, it's, unfortunately, guys, we're coming up to the last about two minutes of the of the run now, and we're just we're edging we're edging three k. I think. Do you th do you think that they can do it? Look. I've, I've seen the power of this chat. I've seen the power of your community. I've seen the power of the rehydrated community. If I don't see 3k by the end of this run, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, uh, you wouldn't expect them to get 3k, would you? There's no way. There's no way they can get 3k. Nah. A first time marathon runner getting up to 3 There's That's never been done before. Nah. <laughs> I could never see it. I could never see a chat going from one thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars to nearly three k in an hour. That we weren't that. It was. We didn't start there. You gotta. You gotta be. You gotta be joking me with that one. We didn't start no, no. there. No, we started at one thousand two hundred seventy-five dollars. Oh. Okay. Uh, I actually do kind of need to focus it. Uh, even though this is the last little section of the speed run, uh, I still kind of do beginner strats here just because it's what I'm comfortable with. I didn't end up learning intermediate strats. So there is a way to soft lock it. Now I'll make sure to point it out when we get there. Uh, so right now we're in, in Robo Sponge. What we just, uh, we're in Robo Sponge. We're about a minute from the end. And here we just kind of it's routed in such a way that you kind of go all over the place. But you, we make sure we finish it with a nice little headbutt. Now, all I have to do is focus on not falling off the edge. Falling off the edge here could be awful. And I mean real awful. So as long as I don't do that, I think we're all good. So this this jump here is 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 kind of what, what gets me. I'm just going to focus up in... Oh, no! I did- I didn't. I- I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a bit- I'm sorry. That's a bit we like to run. <laughs> I had to put it on for the PAX audience. That's perfectly fine to do. There, for some reason, isn't a, uh, a Hans trigger there, so it lets us fall all the way to the bottom. It loads us right the way back up. It's just only slightly quicker. <laughs> and are we ready on time? Time. Sorry, it was, it was it was a bit it was a bit quick. Uh, <laughs> you might want to take a look at the number. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Right, I'm, I'm gonna speed run through these. <laughs> Hit me with them. <laughs> my host my host hash port is broken, sorry. We have twenty dollars from the James Show Zero Zero. Go Cardi go, play that game, sing that song. We have five dollars from Black Sheep. It says, Let's hear that lovely boy, mate. Incentive is play with the cute sheep. We have a hundred dollars from War Striker, which carried us to three K, who says, Oh, <laughs> we have $30 from uh, Oin is Cardi's dad. Good job, son. $45 <laughs> from Jetman J says, Someone take the other half to 3K. And $30 from Generic Skybox who says, Celebratory theme song singing at the end of the run. Please. I think you gotta do it. I. You gotta, these people paid for it. These people paid. F oh my. They paid for it. Oh my god. They paid for it. Uh, do I know the I know the lyrics? Yeah, I know I know the they're, they're stuck up in there somewhere. You know, you know the lyrics. I so this is uh, just to give a bit of context for the Pax audience. I have told my chat multiple times over and over and over and over and over and over and over again that they will never get me to sing. <laughs> would you like would, would you like a, would you like a link to the instrumental? Uh, that would be great, actually. I've got it in chat for you right now. Awesome, awesome. All right, let me let me take a sip of water. I haven't had a sip of water this entire run. Give me a sec. <sighs> okay. Everyone, get ready on the clip button. Oh my goodness! All right. Twitch, 
This is for a good cause. It's for charity. Please do not DMCA this. All right. Oh my, I, okay. I, I, I don't know what my cue in is, but I'll, I'll try and do it. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Ah. Oh. SpongeBob SquarePants, it's all but a yellow and porous is he. SpongeBob SquarePants, if not a cool nonsense, it's something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants, then flop like a deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. Can we get a round of applause there for Cardi? And to wrap it up, $10 from Clay saying, good job, you earned it. That was a beautiful run, mate. Um, if you want to promote yourself or anything, feel free to do that. Uh, so yeah, hi everybody, I'm Cardi. I majority do uh, SpongeBob speedrunning over at my stream. I try and stream as, as much as I possibly can. Uh, kind of mixing things up, but who knows, if you enjoyed the run, uh, if you want to be part of the Cardi community and... and just be a part of all the love that we've given today. Give, chuck us a follow. Uh, quick shout outs to the uh, SpongeBob Discord for just being lovely people uh, in general. Uh, shout outs to my community, especially. Uh, and a, a big shout outs to Emma, who's always been there backing me up uh, and pushing me. And yeah. Love all you guys. Love everything that we've done uh, for the charity today. Almost $2,000. <laughs> Uh, and I can't believe it. Thank you all for having me. Thank you, Pax, for having me. And yeah, hopefully I can do this again soon. I think that's all for me.